So it's Monday morning. We're at the reproductive vet again with Eva. Um, we were here at eight o'clock. We already were in and they checked her numbers. Her number is a five. So if anyone doesn't know anything about pedestrian testing, at a two, they are basically in labor. So she had a 5.0, which is pretty low. Like I didn't anticipate her to be at a five. So the dilemma that we have is our reproductive vet is booked for the next two days for c-section and Eva definitely has to have a c-section so we are going to be doing it today only because at a five she's like at a 5.0 so it could slip down to in the fours and at a two labor is imminent so she could go tonight or tomorrow on her own and um, then I would have to scramble and find a um, a C-section, a vet, an on-call vet to do a C-section. And as everybody knows, everybody's short-staffed. So I don't really feel comfortable like winging it. Um, we have before, but um, i um, rather just, if she's ready, which she pretty much is at a 5.0. She's barely like a five. And, um, a reproductive vet did look at the puppies and did see GI movement in the puppies so they like to make sure that the the puppies GI is moving so um, they're not going to soon she did see movement it is hard with Great Danes because Eva does not lay on her back for a ultrasound on the puppies and if they pant the puppies move so it's really a hard job to see the GI track moving and not you know so these guys are really um, professionals at what they do so she did say she saw movement so um uh we're confident and gonna go today with a c-section but we're, what we're waiting for is we're back in the car because we're just waiting for them to get um some of their out of other appointments out of the way they kind of because they didn't follow eva for the whole duration they didn't inseminate her or anything like that um, they already had patients, so they squeezed us in pretty much. Even though we've been to this reproductive vet for years, and um, we've had several C-sections and just um, prenatal care and stuff like that for our females here. So we're just waiting to go in, and then um, either I'll stay here and wait, or I'll come back and pick her up. But um, I was surprised that it was a five. I thought she'd be higher, but I mean, she did was bred twice, so we're assuming she got did get pregnant off her first tie. So, um, plus, most of our dogs never go on day sixty-four. They're normally day sixty, sixty or sixty-one. They go. So, if you really calculate it, yeah, you know, it shows her pedestrian level is a five. So. We're just waiting to go in, and Eva hasn't had breakfast, and ne neither have I. But um, I, it's easier for her to stay out here and wait with me. She's not going to get nervous by being in the back and just waiting her turn. So I don't mind her being out here waiting with me because she's a good girl, but she does get scared like any other uh, dog in a, a foreign place or a place they don't really have good memories of. So um, it's a rainy Monday, and this is where we'll. This is what we're doing. We're we're having some puppies today, right, Eva? She doesn't even want to see me. Look at this. So she's gone potty. She's had a bite to eat. We just got home today from the C-section. Um, I always get nervous during C-sections because you, gosh, you know, they're taking them out. So um, we ended up. Look at these little faces. <laughs> I know you want me to pay you. So that's a girl in the front and a boy. Those little pink faces. <laughs> they're all so sweet. And they're latching on very good eating. Um, and I was able to um, get uh, three of the five to go poop today. So we just got home a few hours ago. So. I just want to be sure everything's working for them and tell little faces. Um, they're all good sized puppies. They're all over 20 ounces. Some of them were 24, 25. I think the smallest was 21. That was her. 
Somebody's way under mummy. Is it you? I think he's eating though. So right now I'm just trying to keep them warm. I got the heat up, but they are peeing on their own. Um, I have stimulated them and they all go pee. So I'll be working on the two that haven't gone poop yet. <laughs> We'll see. This is so sweet. So today is day three. So these guys are three days old. This is what we got. So as you can see, she's cleaning and tending to them pretty well. Um, so she had some really pretty colors. She always does, her and Hurley. Um, at first I thought these were uh, brindle Merrells, but now I'm thinking I have two fawn Merrells. So I think this is a fawn Merrell, and I think this one is too. Because I don't see the brindling that I normally see on them, but I'm keeping an eye, and we'll see if they change. But these are two fawn mismarked mantles. She has a brindle mantle. He's really pretty. I mean, they all are. Look at him, hunting, 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 hunting. Come on, Bobby, find it. Come on, little boy. I can't find that. Right there, sweetie. So they're doing really well. Um, by day two, she starts cleaning them up. So basically with a C-section, if it happens, you can anticipate mom not to be able to care for them for the, probably the first couple of days is what I normally, my rule of thumb is. Um, only because she's been under anesthesia. She's in pain. Um, I've never... Thank goodness had a c-section but um eva has so she knows so eva's on a rimadol so she has it every 12 hours for the pain and we're still doing it as you can see she's panting right now and that's basically her uterus contracting back um after having her babies but um starting yesterday on day two she was already in tune to these little kids and cleaning them up so now she is a seasoned mom, so she's had other litters. This is Eva's last litter. Um, so she's enjoying her little babies. Uh, I When I did get the the ultrasound picture, I the x-rays, we went in for x-rays last uh, Friday, and I only saw five on the x-rays, but Eva did have a, a breakfast, so... I didn't know if her GI tract, her colon was just full of poop, and I didn't see the number six. But no, they miscounted. There was only six. Um, but they're big puppies. Um, 24 ounces at birth was um, a couple of them. And the smallest one was the girl, and she was at 22 ounces. That's a good-sized puppy. Um, the vets were saying her reproductive vet was saying how big the puppies were that um like when they deliver frenchies and stuff like that they're typically under one pound so that's less than 16 ounces where these guys are almost double the weight but um eva doesn't tend to have big litters so i actually think this size litter is pretty nice uh six seven is pretty nice when you have 12 it's it's a lot more care and it's a lot on the mom and surprisingly enough, that's usually Ebby that has the big litters. Eva never really has. But this is a good size. It's more than one. It's more than two. Five is good. And she's really, like, on top of it. So, um, when we do... Hi, sweet baby. When we do leave, we still put them in the basket. Um, so if I'm out in the yard and I'm not in the house, I put them in the basket. Even though Eva has had other puppies in his good with her own puppies um eva did her first litter was an experienced mom and kind of jumped over this and landed on one of her puppies and, and broke a hind leg it does happen the more you breed um the more you'll hear and experience certain things um the puppy only took two weeks to heal we brought him to a specialist that actually was hercules that we had here um so as you can see he turned out just fine. But, um, so yeah, we put him in the basket when we're, but, um, we sleep, we sleep, we've been sleeping in here with her and I leave him on her all night and she's totally fine. I'll wake up and, 
Um, sometimes she's up and ready to go potty like every couple hours or she's hungry. She's eating more um, because she's feeding these babies. But well, I just got in here and she was really uh, determined to lay down and get those babies out of the basket so she could feed them. So she's a really good mom. She likes to play with them when they get older too. So all these puppies have homes. They had homes before they were born. So um, we have some cool names as we, as you guys see videos, as they get further along, you'll start picking up their names. We have a Cullen, a Victoria's the girl. We have a Duke, uh, Seymour is one of them, or Seaman. Seaman's one of them. I'm missing somebody. Who am I missing? I'll think of it. It takes me a little time to get uh, get them down packed, but I'll have who's who in no time, especially with only five. So um, once they were born and we were settled, we kind of I put collars on them so people can identify. And then I we went down our uh, deposit list for picks and. They all have homes. So we do have uh, Lexi that's due um, next month. And she has a pretty long uh, waiting list also. So we'll see how that goes. Um, Lexi does have x-rays coming up also in November to see what she's going to have. But these guys are three days old and um, doing well. You can see they hunt for the tea on their own. <laughs> that's a little boy. He's a little bit darker than his sister, but they will lighten up. They will look like magnolia in the end. So it's kind of cool to see the transition, the change. And they're all pretty cute. So, yeah. So when I have a C-section, I kind of worry about the care of the mom right away. Um, when we get home. Because she's on whoops, pain meds. Oh, here's some of the little faces. She's on pain meds and... I make sure her temperature doesn't get high. You want to make sure that, you know, yeah. even though she had a C-section, she will still have discharge. So that's all normal things to look for. Um, Cause you can get, we've had actually Pyrometra, uh, a day old puppies, the mom, Fiona had it. So it does happen. So those are all like things that I keep an eye on. That can happen with a natural uh, whelp though too. I always feel a little bit safer with a natural whelp though because I know mom's done, you know, she's not been cut open. The puppies obviously were born when they were supposed to be born versus C-section. You know, we went by the Pedestro number five. Um, we know two and under is a go, but five is kind of like, oh, do I do it now? Do I go home? And she goes into labor in the middle of the night. So we kind of made the right call, but I always get nervous thinking, you know, are my puppies going to be premature? But we have good reproductive vet and we discussed our worries with them and, um, and everything worked out for the best. So once Eva's puppies go home, um, I'll be bringing them back, her back there to get a spay. And she will be all done. So these will be our last ones, our last little brownies from, from Eva. But, um, so she stays in here with them. She has come down and sat in the living room with us because she does love us. So we'll give her a break. We put the puppies in the basket and she'll come down and chill with us. But right now she's pretty content because her puppies were in the basket. Uh, for about an hour, so she's they need to be fed and she knows that so you can hear him gulping <laughs> That's them But it's kind of cool with only five because there's plenty of milk and teats to go along uh, Versus if you have a huge litter sometimes we'll put half in the basket feed them and then then and then do the other half But with this litter, it's kind of perfect. They all can eat together and they do stay with mom I mean they're chunking up pretty good so uh, what I'll do is I'll weigh these guys Monday. They'll be a week old on Monday and see how much they have. Because when you have the reproductive vet um, uh, does all their weights when they're born and actually scores them too on how, you know, muscle tone, all that, how they kind of react. So sometimes you might not get the best score for the first 10 minutes because we've had um, puppies be born too that will need a, like some some help basically to get jump started 
So they would probably score not very well, but after 10 minutes, um, everybody scored a 10. So um, I think it was two of them that they had to do a little bit of work to. But that's still not alarming. That's pretty normal, even if you whelp them at home. So someone might get alarmed. But um, when I went in there, I could hear them all squealing from the front office. So that's always a good sign. You want a lively, healthy, spunky puppy. And... Um, and that's what these guys are. So all in all, day three, we'd have to give it a thumbs up. We're doing really well. So uh, that's it for the updates. The puppies are here. They're home. They're with mom. Mom's doing great. Uh, only like the first day or so is kind of rough on her. But she's been, you know, because she's been doing stairs. We don't obviously run her. She goes in and out to go potty. And then she's with her babies. Ooh, I just sit up real quick. I feel lightheaded. I must be getting old, huh, Eve? <laughs> so that's the updates for the babies.